Hello everybody and welcome to the video notes for problem number 15 in our review session. We are almost done. We are doing some long division and notice that we have a decimal. So anytime that we're dividing, we always want to make sure that we keep place of where our decimal is in our answer. So when the decimal is inside this box, inside our division house, all you have to do is just bring the decimal straight up. You bring it straight up and then divide normally. So here, 56. 56 can't go into 0. So I'll put a 0 up there. Can 56 go into 5? It can't, so I put another 0. But can 56 go into 56? Yes, it can. My 1 goes there, because 1 times 56 that gives me 0, no remainders. So it's really important to keep track of your place value, where the decimal is, and where you're dividing into each number. So 0 0.01 is my answer, 